Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is Dr. Han's Pharmacy Classroom. Now in today's video, we are going to do a little content review or content digest of an ACF's webinar I just watched a couple of days ago. It is about mRNA technology and how it's being used as a vaccine and other therapeutic products okay we are going to go through five facts about this topic okay just five facts now in my channel i do reviews on courses presented from different online platforms i also present on materials regarding biomedical and pharmaceutical sciences and as well as giving out learning tips and tricks okay if these are the topics that interest you please subscribe to my channel now, if you want to know more about my personal life there's another channel you can check it out about cookings and things like that now without further talking let's go to the topics of today all right guys so here today we are looking at a digest from a recent ACS webinar on the RNA mRNA technology for vaccine development and as well as therapeutic agents okay I did that a couple days ago all right so today we are looking at five facts okay five facts that you must know about this topic this is a pretty new topic to me uh, I'm sure this is a pretty new topics to you pharmacy students and other biomedical science students as well well let's look at the a little bit Disclaimer first, okay. Now this video is my personal opinion and summary of uh, some publicly available information, okay. I make no claims on diagnostic and treatments, okay, and uh, it, I don't receive any monetary compensations from the companies I mentioned in this video. So I have no ties with that company. I don't even own any stock from that company at, at all, okay. So what are the backgrounds of this topic? So that ties into a small a topic that I presented last week about the most promising or one of the most promising vaccines that is uh, undergoing clinical trial here in the US. Uh, this is a vaccine's codename mRNA 1273 developed by the company called Moderna. Okay, Moderna, this is a company based in Massachusetts. All right. So Currently, the phase two trial is happening uh, and we will see what's going on in the coming weeks. Okay, now, so this vaccine is based on mRNA. So what is mRNA, messenger mRNA, a very, very quick, uh, you know, recap uh, on the basics, mRNA codes for protein, okay? Uh, you know, this process happens inside of our cells and it produces proteins that are either secretory, okay, you can, you know, secrete it from the cell to the intracellular spaces. Uh, also, it could be um, the proteins that are bound to the membrane, okay, on the cell, membrane bound. Right, so that is the messenger RNA. So how is it related to being a vaccine or even being a therapeutic agent? Well, let's look at the five facts. Fact number one. All right, fact number one is that this type of mRNA need to be delivered through a uh, particle, so-called the, the lipid nanoparticles okay basically here it is a droplet basically it's a micelle okay lipid bilayer contain uh, stuff that is inside now at this time this stuff is messenger RNA now nanoparticle meaning it is nanometer size very very small okay very very small and that's how to protect the mRNA from the body's defense your body sees any naked type of uh, nuclear acids as foreign it will destroy it immediately with nucleases enzyme that destroy or metabolize nucleus so you need this type of a capsule protections uh, for it to be able to successfully deliver to your cell and these type of uh, ionizable uh, lipid bilayer also contain ionizable uh, amino acid amino sorry amino lipid and also as well as uh, pigulated okay polyethylene glycol so all these moiety on these lipid nanoparticles help to enhance the stability and control the distribution of this particle to different parts of your body and as well as increasing half-life inside your body let's look at fact number two 
Now, fact number two, the production of these mRNA uh, product doesn't depend on cells. It's a cell three productions and they can be chemically synthesized uh, using uh, a machine, basically. All right, so by itself, the mRNA is non-immunogenic, okay? Most of those nuclear acids by itself are non-immunogenic, but recognized as foreign, so we have body readily, you know, take down them. You don't need, doesn't go to a further immunogenic step, you know, to remove these uh, nuclear acids. All right, this M mRNA also doesn't interfere with the host or recipient's genomic DNAs, okay? It have, doesn't do anything. It goes inside the cell, it doesn't go inside the nucleus. It stays in the cytosol of the cell. All right, and these effects is temporary and dose dependent. If you administer a messenger mRNA uh, to your cell, okay, it will it will go away, okay? It's not gonna be lasting forever. It doesn't change your genome at all. And it is also dose dependent. So the more messenger RNA you put into your cell, uh, the more protein you will get produced at the end. All right, let's look at f fact number three, all right? So the number three fact of this mRNA uh, as a vaccine is that it can induce neutralizing antibody productions in the recipient's body, okay? It basically induced the recipient's adaptive immune system to to react, okay? To react and producing neutralizing antibody. And neutralizing is the key. So it can bound to the target or the viruses to prevent cellular entries, okay? So basically, you are preventing uh, the persons or the cells are being infected by the virus. Let's go to fact number four. Now, this fact is that by doing messenger RNA vaccines, this process is very, very similar to a natural infection. Now, take coronavirus as an example. It is a RNA uh, virus. Basically, it injects its genomic RNA into, into your cell and it generating a messenger RNA, RNA and producing a viral protein inside of a host cell. Now, doing an administration of a specific mRNA can induce the body to generate a viral protein or particle intracellularly, okay, inside the cell and ties into a little bit of an immunology and this process will let the cells to present this antigen via this MHC class 1. Now, it is different than traditional protein vaccines or protein-based vaccine where it is being taken apart into small peptide and presented in the MHC class 2 uh, type of a presenter. So that is the main difference. And this whole process really make, make the natural infection process. And come to the fact number five. Right, so it can produce antibody productions directly. Now, you ha if you happen to inject a messenger RNA that is, you know, long enough, complete enough, it can produce antibody. It encodes antibody and the cells will start building up or generating antibodies, okay? And then you now you have a defense almost instantaneously, you know, maybe a day or two later, but uh, this is very helpful uh, to use as a preventative, preventative treatment agents, especially for high risk patients, people that are in the healthcare, uh, healthcare workers, okay, they are facing uh, serious, uh, you know, patients all the time and being protected can be very beneficial. And also used as a immediate treatment follow a followed by a um a short exposure a long exposure all right okay so now we come to a summary and recaps what are the five facts about mrna vaccines and therapeutics so first it need to be delivered in a lipid nanoparticle formulations this product is cell free production so it doesn't re use cells to produce so the variation of batch to batch variation is limited it can induce the body to produce new neutralizing antibodies 
and this whole process is similar to a natural infections and also can encode for uh, the productions of therapeutic uh, enzymes or proteins or antibodies directly. So these are the five facts about this mRNA, uh, mRNA technology. All right, so I have written a complete digest of this ACS webinar. Now, the link is down below in the description if you want to read more into it, complement to what I've given to you in this video, please go down to the link down below. So we've spent about 10 minutes quickly looking at the mRNA technology used in vaccine development. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want more videos in this type of a theme, looking at content review, biomedical, pharmaceutical sciences, as well as learning tips and trips, uh, tips and tricks. All right, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, you know, and I will see you next time. And thank you for watching. Bye.